iPhone 6 iOS 10.3 beta 6 review coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech, helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 6 iOS 10.3 beta 6 review here. Now I'm going to go ahead and boot the device up and I did make a video on how to install iOS betas for your iPhone, specifically the iOS 10.3 beta 6 that we are reviewing here and I actually showed it on this specific iPhone 6 here. So you can check that video out. That video will be down below in the description, also in a card, maybe an end screen as well here. But you might be saying, you know what, Nick, should I do the update here? We're going to find out here what is new with this iOS 10.3 beta 6 for the iPhone 6. Let's go ahead and confirm that we are running iOS 10.3 here. You can see iOS 10.3, your software is up to date. So that would mean beta 6. The official release should be coming a little bit soon here, like within the next couple of weeks. It's got to come within the month or so. We're already on the sixth beta. Apple usually doesn't go too far after five or six beta. So why don't we expect the official release to come soon? So if you're not into the whole, you know, doing this manual tech stuff and you just want it automatic, like you just want your updates to come to your phone and just handle it that way, then just wait. There's not a big deal going on here with 10.3. In my personal opinion, this is just not that much of a visual change that most people got to go run and do this update right away. I don't think it's necessary, but I am going to show you those of you who are interested in being on the latest and greatest software all the time, what you're going to get here for iOS 10.3. So there's not much to talk about in terms of the ways of visual changes. So you're not going to see much different here in this video, but you do get the widgets for podcasts. So podcast widgets do come to the iPhone 6. So if you use widgets a lot, it's a very specific feature. If you use widgets a lot on your iPhone 6 and you podcast, listen to podcasts from the Apple podcast app, you're going to have that there. So it's a very specific feature that I don't think a lot of users are going to care too much about. But hey, it's there for those of you who do use podcasting a lot. So also you're going to get Find My AirPods in, in the Find My iPhone app. So if you do have the Find My iPhone app, which I don't have on here because I don't really use that app too much you will get the find my airpods feature so if you bought those airpods that apple introduced at the iphone 7 event but they just released not too long ago you're going to be able to go ahead and use that feature if you lose your airpods those things are very easy to lose if they're going to have location based finding the airpods so pretty cool stuff they're a little late but it's here nonetheless also you get series support for cricket scores from indian premier league and international cricket council so very specific feature once again for a very specific group of people who are asking for that and that comes to 10.3 also safari support for reduced motion preference so there are some improvements to the security in iOS 10.3, stronger encryption. Also, if we go into these settings where you go to touch ID and passcode, little small thing, but if you go into add fingerprint, not add fingerprint, let's go back here. It's not add fingerprint. Let's go into turn passcode on. You can see, let me keep my fingerprints. You can see right there, those little bubbles are a little bit different. Something small, but I did notice that here with iOS 10.3 beta 6. Also, you get a new way for developers to respond to your apps. So if you go into your app store and you do happen to leave a review for an application, developers now will have the ability to respond to you straight from their application. So this is great for those of you who buy applications a lot and you really want to use their app, their service, and you need to talk to them. Like it's a great way for developers to speak to their customers of their application. So that's a nice touch that comes to iOS 10.3 for the iPhone 6. Also, there's some CarPlay improvements to, you know, media communication and travel apps. You can quick switch in the CarPlay. And also you gain access to albums and music and weather data and maps app now has a 3D touch functionality, but there's no 3D touch here specifically for iPhone 6. So that doesn't matter for you iPhone 6 users out there. But you, what you really want to know here, those were the features. I know what you really want to know here is, Nick, how is that performance here on iOS 10.3 beta 6? Should I do the update now? And um, I, I think you'll be fine if you do the update. Just make sure you do a backup. But you can see right here, calendar. Let's keep, don't allow that. Let's go into calculator, camera. Let's go into clock. Let's go into weather. Let's go into phone. Let's go into voice memos. Let's go into Apple health and let's come out of there. Let's go into YouTube. 
see how long that takes to load. Not bad at all. Let's go into Appy Geek. You can see not bad at all here as well. So, I mean, if you guys want to update to iOS 10.3 Beta 6, you're not going to have an issue too much in terms of performance. I think it's stable enough if you guys actually want to go ahead and do this right away. But I would still recommend just waiting because we're almost there to iOS 10.3, the official release now. But, you know, there's probably going to be a beta release right after that comes out as well. In terms of the camera, it's pretty much the same. We don't see any feature changes in terms of our camera setup here for iOS 10.3. And that's pretty much it. I mean, general UI performs well. I don't want to make this review too long. This is not a huge update in terms of 10.3. So that's going to wrap it up here. It's pretty stable, pretty smooth. If you guys want to go ahead and do the update, I would advise you just wait just because it's so close to the official release. But if you're really itching to get on the latest iOS, go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and do a backup before you do it. Like I say, watch my video on how to install iOS 10.3 Beta 6 so you don't run into any issues. And that'll pretty much wrap this one up for the iPhone 6 iOS 10.3 Beta 6 review. Stay tuned to the channel for the official release. That's when we're really going to test them in depth here on the channel. iPhone 5S, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 as Plus, iPhone 7 Plus and iPhone SE content should be coming soon for iOS 10.3, the official release. So stay tuned for that. And we will be covering betas going forward here in the future. So subscribe if you're interested in things like that. Also subscribe for anything and everything tech. And I will catch you all in the next one. Nick here helping to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.